If you just bought MS First 2024 and you want to customize your keyboard and mouse settings to make them exactly like Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, then this video is for you. So we are just about to hop in to the TBM 930 to configure these controls. Now it's not too complicated but there are a few bindings I had to switch around because honestly the camera, changing the cameras did make the biggest difference for me. And uh, this is how I set it up in MS First 2020 and I don't believe I changed uh, any settings from the default. So of course we're going to hop into settings, we're going to go to controls. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to general controls and it will be set automatically keyboard 2024. Of course we're going to change this down to 2020, this will make the biggest difference for you. And aircraft controls isn't really relevant to this video but I've just left it on 2020 although I haven't noticed a difference with this yet. So after you select keyboard 2020 things will start to take place and um, get into uh, the configuration of MS First 2020. However I use the arrow keys to move around so for me this consists of going to controls and head over to the I would recommend I was about to search it then just go to the camera in the settings bar instead cockpit camera is the one we're going to be looking at now I'm going to ignore this and this is how to save camera views as well so here um, this is also relevant this is kind of like looking around but if you have your uh, mouse set up then I wouldn't worry about this because you just scroll around with your mouse that's how most people do it. Unless of course you don't have a joystick or something and you need to change the controls. Now for saving custom cameras, you're going to click here. Scanning. And when we scan we're going to hold control alt and the number so. There we go. And you're going to save it as your new profile so whatever you want to call it. Let's call this AWE. And you can see we've saved it as control alt 1 and then as you can see this is associated with save custom camera 1. So if we head over to the low custom camera one, we're going to want it alt to one. You want it different to your save, otherwise it's going to be like an endless loop. Whatever you want this to be, this could be a numpad key or a button on your joystick, but I believe this is how most other MS First 2020 setups were. So control, alt, number. This will be the numbers on the top of your keyboard and alt the number to load it up. And this will get you teleport you to the uh, position you've saved. Now going along, this is uh, what I had to change. So to go right, scan, and I did the arrow to the right on my keypad because that's how it works best for me. And to clear your profile if you do have anything, go to the settings cog, delete assigns control. And it should just override automatically, but just go here. And then of course left for translate cockpit view left, not lockable, we don't want that. Increase cockpit view height, up arrow and down arrow for the view height. And I believe the space bar automatically jumps you up as well if you've saved that. Uh, reset there. But I actually would recommend saving camera zero to your default cockpit view. And then to load it, use W or some easy key to click on. I haven't set that up yet just because I will probably forget that I've done that. Okay, and that is it for the keyboard. These are the basic settings you need. I will go to later video on the TCA, Thrustmaster, etc. After this for the mouse, now the mouse settings did take a little bit of playing around. But if we go to our general settings, camera, cockpit camera, this is the default that I found. Height 83, horizontal position 50, zoom 54, zoom speed 47, free look speed 45, free look momentum. Momentum 0 for sure. These settings work perfectly for me. You want the heads up modes, toggles, I've adjusted all of these. Wide angle works best for me. It's a bit overwhelming if you're spawned right into the middle of an EFIS or something. And you want it to hold the free look mode so it doesn't keep moving back to the center because that's annoying. Reset manual. Uh, flashlight is up to you, camera shakes also. Um, doesn't make too much of a difference, of course it's more immersive, but it'll probably cause stutters on my system. And that is also the external camera, but I haven't adjusted these. So the main ones you want to focus on, zoom, zoom speed, free look speed, free look momentum. And these should be the settings that get you pretty much the exact same results as Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. 
The only thing I'd say is the mouse controls, although I've tried my best, they will be a little bit different, but you'll get used to them basically after your first flight. Thank you all for watching, subscribe for more content because I will be making a lot of tutorials for Microsoft Flight Sim 2024.